Hello, this is Steve Malone with Comps of X. Hope you're doing well today and you're getting some good trades. Today, I want to show you an advanced entry technique for the dot scuppy method. Now, many of us who trade the dot scuppy method have seen the market make a volatile spike type move up to an entry or a little bit beyond an entry level, and it didn't have the proper dot scuppy setup. So, we have a tendency to write it off and go look for another trade. However, today I want to show you a couple of things to look for with the dot scuppy pattern and one significant level to keep an eye on as the market progresses after the market makes its little spike. So take some notes here. Again, this is advanced, so you want to check it out, see if it works for you, but there's something I really look for in these type of scenarios so that way it gives me some additional trading opportunities with the dot scuppy method. Let's take a look. And you can see today that the Euro Aussie was kind of sitting here a little flat, a little sideways here, and then all of a sudden, as it started making its move up, it made a punch of a move, about a 35 pip move straight up. We don't have the proper dots guppy pattern set up. What we're looking for at the time is to have the 15 over the 30, then the 30 over the 55. Well, in this case, the 15, the yellow, is over the turquoise, which is the 55, and at the time, the 30 was right underneath the 55, not the proper setup. So when the market makes this spike of a move, what I like to do, instead of writing it off, is to look for some sort of retrace back down close to the entry level, and this is key. I'm looking for the 15 exponential moving average to hold or contain price. If it holds price, and then the short-term moving averages start moving back in the direction of the long-term guppy multiple moving averages, I look to re-enter the trade. Now, whether that entry is right at the entry level or a break of the previous high set, I still have an opportunity to enter here on the break of that previous high. So let me show you again this little setup here. The market makes a punch up, fades back, holds the 15 exponential moving average and starts working its way back to the upside. That is a nice little look. Now for those of y'all who are familiar with Fibonacci retracement, if you were to take this measurement from here to here, that low is a 38.2 Fib retracement. So all those scalpers and early traders, active traders here, they let it fade back to about a 38.2% standard profit taking level. They take their profits but the market holds. Short term moving averages with price moving up, they all turn back in the direction and we have an entry in this area somewhere close to the buy entry. Let me show you another example of this today on the EuroCAD. EuroCAD did a similar situation. Look at the spike right here. We have a spike that literally is about 30 pips right here. Just about 30 pips. We don't have the proper dots guppy set up. The at the time, the uh, 15 was, again was over the 55, and at the time the 30 was just underneath the 55 right there, and because of this big candle and move up, well that's when it pulls this over. But notice that after that big punch up, many of us would write this trade off as, nah, it's not there to take, but look, it falls back down. Now it did dip a little bit below, but most of the closes are at the 15 or right near the 15 exponential moving average and then it pushes up. It did it not once but it did it twice on the way up and it really was this one right here that really had a nice little continuation to the upside. So again something to look for, this is an advanced thing to look for is when you don't have that initial setup and the market spikes look for it to fade back. Now this is a pretty sizable fade back. This is really I would say about a 618 retracement. Yeah, that's where it closed at, a 618 retrace, a pretty good retracement there. And so I would be looking in this case for the market to hold back into this area. We have basically the same lows here, comes back up, closes inside. The short term guppies are starting to turn again and gives us another possible opportunity to trade this back up. It fell down again. It was a choppy market this morning, but what I noticed was each time we were coming back down, we were holding that 15, and we had opportunities to get back in the market somewhere near 
the buy entry level to trade it up to the buy target number one or to the buy target number two. So again, things to look for is simply this. The market makes a quick spike up to that entry level. Wait for the market to fade. If it fades back towards that entry level and the 15 exponential moving average holds or contains price action, then look for the trade to set itself up and go back in the direction of the long-term guppies. So in effect, we missed an opportunity here because it really wasn't set up. So really that wasn't a missed opportunity. It just wasn't set up. Now we give the market time to set itself up properly and let the rest of us traders looking for the proper setup to get into the trade. At this point, when it pulled back, 15 held, we have a nice separation between the 15 exponential moving average and the 30 exponential moving average and it's got an expansion going on right here we have an opportunity to catch that trade the same thing occurred over here just a little bit more choppy but more than anything else you can see with the higher lows and most of the price action above the 15 exponential moving average gave us an opportunity to get in this trade well, this is Dean Malone with CompassFX. I hope some of the information I've shared with you about this advanced entry technique, if the market spikes, let it fade back. If the 15 exponential holds near the entry level, look for a potential entry at that point. Y'all make it a great day. Get some good trades. Talk to you next time. Bye-bye.